Good morning, students. Welcome to the English class. Students, today we will discuss English radio. Students, all animals and birds have some special features, isn't it? Like the monkeys have long tail, elephants have big ears, giraffes are too tall, their necks are very tall, isn't it? And the deer can run fast and camels have a big hump on their back, right? Do you know how the camel got this hump? So, let's read the story. And the name of the story is The Camel Hump. When the world began, animals were quite different from the ones we see today. At first, the animals' elephants had no trunk and the zebra had no stripes. Imagine a camel without its hump. Long, long ago, when animals had just appeared, the camels had no hump. His back was flat and smooth like a horse's back. But he himself was wild and rough and had no manners. He never said please or thank you. All he said was hump. So, students, Long ago, animals were not like today's animals. Their appearance were little different. Like camels were not having the hump uh, on their back. And he was not, he was not a good mannerable also. Okay, He was very wild and rough. He never uh, used these words like please and thank you. He always used to say hump. At that time, many animals had begun to work for men. The camel was disinterested and did not want to work for anybody. He lived all alone in the heart of the big dry desert. Dry grass and sticks were his food. When anybody spoke to him, he just said, Humph. He was not at all helpful, right? One Monday morning, the horse came to him and said, Come with me, man wants to ride us. Humph, said the camel. He shook his head and the horse went away, neighing his disappointment. So, when one day, one horse came and asked for help. He said that, Come, the man wants to ride on us. But the camel didn't say anything. He only used the word humph. And that means he refused. He don't want to help a horse. So the horse became upset and he went from there. Then on Tuesday morning, the dog came along with a stick on his mouth. Come with me, camel, and help me to fetch and carry things for men. Students, fetch means bring. Okay. So next morning on Tuesday, the dog came and said that, please come with me. We will bring some water for men. But shaking his head, the camel said, Hump. So again, camel refused. On Wednesday morning, the ox came to him and said, Come on, camel, and help me pull this cart. Hump, said the camel, and he turned away. Means again, that camel refused. At the end of the day, man called the horse, the dog and the ox together and said, My three friends, you must work harder. I am very sorry for you, but what can I do? That humph thing in the desert can't work. Can't work, said the horse. He won't work. We asked him politely and he just shook his head and said humph. That's right said the dog. He is big, he is strong and he is lazy. So students, the man and all the three friends were talking that that camel is refusing everybody to do help and he is very lazy animal. Yes, said the industrious ox. Industrious means hard working. He just stands all alone in the desert eating dry grass. Well, said man, I can't make him work, so 
I must leave him alone in the desert, and you, my friends, must work harder. The three friends were furious and upset. On Thursday morning, they met together. The great Dijin was flying along in a cloud of dust. He noticed the dejected group and came down to talk with them. So all the three friends were very upset. Who? The dog, the horse, and the ox. Why? Because that camel was not helping them, and men said that they have to work harder. That's why they were upset. And on the Thursday morning, when they were moving, suddenly one djinn was flying. Djinn means jinn. You know jinn, students. Jinn was flying along in a cloud of dust. So he noticed this dejected group. Dejected means sad. Okay. He noticed the this sad group, and he came down for asking, "What is the problem?" Great djinn said, "The horse. Is it right to be lazy?" When the world is young and beautiful, of course not," said Dijin. "Well," said the horse, "there is a thing in the middle of the big dry desert with a long neck and long legs and a big ugly face. He doesn't do any work. That sounds like my camel. What does he say when you ask him to work?" asked the Dijin. "Only humph." Answered the dog. That's right," said the ox. When I asked him to help, he just shook his head and said, "Hump." Very good," said the Dijin. "I will give him a hump. Just leave it on. Leave it to me." So when students, the that Dijin asked this dejected group that what is the problem? Why they were upset? So all these three animals complained. About the camel to the dijin that he is not doing any work. He is only standing on the in the middle of the desert and eating grass, and he is not helping anybody. He is very lazy. So dijin said, "Okay, leave it to me. I will teach him a lesson." Then the dijin flew away in the in his cloud of dust. Very soon he found the camel standing all alone beside a pool. He was looking at his ugly face in the water. My friend said, "The Dijin, I hear that you don't, you won't work. Why is that?" Humph said the camel. So when the Dijin came and asked the camel why you are you not doing any work, so what was the answer of the camel? Humph. The Dijin began to think up some magic, great magic. While the Dijin was thinking, the camel just stood there, staring at his unattractive face in the water. This irritated the Dijin. Pondering hard, the Dijin spoke to the camel again. The three friends have been working very hard because you are too lazy to work. Don't you care? Don't you care? Humph said the lazy camel. So the Dijin said that to that camel that what happened? Your three friends are working so hard. Why you are not helping them? But camel didn't say anything. He only spoke hump. So this that that Dijin became irritated. Okay. If you say that again, said the Dijin to the camel, I will give you a hump, and you won't like it. So after that, the Dijin became very angry. Okay, so he said that if you will use this word again, then certainly I will give you a hump, and that you will not like. Hump said the camel. He just just then something flew through the air and landed on the camel's beautiful smooth flat back. It stuck there and grew until it looked like a small mountain. So again, that again that camel say used that same word, hump. So that Jane became very angry, and he did some magic, and one small mountain like thing came flew uh, there on, and that was placed on the back of the camel, and it was looking like a small mountain. There said the Jane, that's your hump. 
Today is Thursday and you have done no work since Monday. So now you are going to work. How can I say, I'm sorry, how can I, said the camel, with this great ugly hump on my back. So that camel said, now how can I do any work because now I became very ugly. Now I got a hump on my back. So now that Dijin said, now you can do the work. With your ugly hump on the back, you will do the work. And what you will do? I will tell you. I will. You will carry your food and water on your hump. So the Dijin said that now on this in this hump, you will carry your food and water. There is enough for three days. Now, so now you will be able to survive for three days without eating or drinking. You must come out of the desert and go to man. You must work hard for him and be good. Come on now and stop being lazy. So that Dijin said to the camel that now don't be lazy again. Now go to the man and do some work. So the camel went away with a hump on his back and joined man and the three friends. After a few years, the hump came to be known as hump. So that the camel did not feel too bad. So students, is it clear to you? How the camel got this hump? Okay, thank you.